Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. We started episode 11 by helping John. We stole an oil wagon from Cornwall, Kerosene and Tar. It took me a couple of tries but I was eventually able to get to the destination in one piece. After taking a look at Emerald Ranch, we went and robbed a homestead with Javier and that's where we ended our previous episode. So I was taking a look around and I noticed there are still some people at the homestead. Look, it says enemy. I, I think there is at least two of them still here. So I wanted to take a look. Get a woman like that, don't you? Frazzle dipping all the night. Frazzle dipping your little pulley wag, more like. Where are they? We have that one we keeps in the woods. Happy in the woods? Boiling when he sees her, don't you? <laughs> oh, what the hickory is her name now? <laughs> Digs her up and ass, don't you? <laughs> is she dead? And next run to market, I combs my hair all flowy like I says to the girl. Good morning. You watch now. I tell you every time. No yakker than in the market. Newt and Edie takes the wagon now, don't you? Now shut your gulpers and do it right on that ginseng. Well, there they are. They did something to a girl. We make a right tangle of that, Mal. Surely stuck here like hog pins now. Okay, what should we do? We should get closer, right? I want to find that woman that they were talking about. Or a girl. I actually don't know if that's a girl or a woman. I guess they are behind... I guess they're behind the house. Ah, uh, horses. I hope that you don't... Could you, like, please, um... Thank you. <laughs> um... <clears throat> okay, so I really haven't... planned this at all. I'm not sure what I'm... Well, I'm probably gonna end up killing them, but... Kick the door, you know, break the lock. I would like to break the lock, but I feel like I should get rid of these guys first. Should I try to talk to them? I don't think so. Or should I? I would like to get more dialogue out of them. I'm trying to say hi, and if they shoot at me, I will just kill them. Okay, this is that's my that's my plan. I uh, I will just give myself away or my location away, whatever. I, I just wanna try this. Blenching worm, toe tipping up on us. Oh, all right, all all right. Yours, don't you? Oh fuck, there's so many of them here. Oh my shit, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, uh... Uh, go behind the rock. I feel like that's a pretty good idea. Um, I can't... Not on top of the rock. Okay, go behind another rock. Or actually, this will do just fine. I can't really see, I need to move places. I need to go somewhere else. Okay, another wood. A tree, I mean. Oh, damn it. Go. Okay, 
there's probably somebody in that. Oh yeah, I can see them. Come on. A little bit higher. Come on, peek. Hmm. How do we do it from here? Alright, somebody is behind this building, somebody is in that building. Oh, damn it, she can see me. Actually, this could be better. Uh, uh why am I standing? Should I get closer? Um. Okay, let's change the plan. Chains of plan. Oh. Oh, I knew it. I accidentally toggled the scope, I think. What the fuck? I'm not trying to do that. I'm not. I, I swear to God, I'm not pressing the button. This is just fucking weird. Am I just... I'm not even pressing the button, so I'm not sure what's happening. Okay, another weapon. This will do. Alright. There is somebody in... I fucking knew it. <laughs> um... Okay, Springfield Rifle. I guess that's good. Oh yeah, I see him. Okay, good. And then the angry lady. Good. Okay, let's see. Let's see if this was smart at all. Aren't these like the same people that we killed before? Maybe they were. I've already taken a look at this place, so I'm pretty sure that there's nothing to loot here besides the bodies, so let's do that and uh can I just jump in? I don't think I can can I go in? Oh, I can good If I was smart, I could have just uh, killed the two guys with maybe throwing knives. But I feel like the other ones would have aggroed anyway, maybe, possibly. Hmm, missing. Nice. Oh, hey, they were talking about a woman or a girl that I guess they buried somewhere, so I do want to find her. Uh, stop eating them for a day. Ah, okay. I've been eating too many plants. <laughs> too many vitamins. <laughs> Can't use them all. Oh, I got goosebumps. Sage, that's good. All right. Oh, I want to break the lock. Because I got the lock breaker. 
I don't think there's anything inside because we've already looted this place, but I just wanted to try that, you know. Mm. Alright. At least I know that it works. The lockbreaker, I mean. But how can we find that woman? Oh god. I guess she should be somewhere nearby. In the woods. Also, um... Oh, actually. Hmm. I'm gonna try this. No, I was kind of hoping that I could zoom in a little bit better. Actually. Call me crazy. Okay, um, no, too close. Ah, damn it. I was kind of hoping that that would have been... Like, uh... Some type of, uh... Lead so that we could find the lady. Let's take a look at the map. Where would I hide a body? I mean, there are so many locations here that it's, um... Would be bloody anywhere. Okay, I'm taking the, a quick look around. Maybe we will find something. I don't think there was anything else here that I could have... Taken a look at, really, because I... I feel like I've read majority of your comments. Thank you for those. So I'm pretty sure that I none of you mentioned anything about this place or me missing anything major here. So I feel like I'm good to go. But I am a little bit concerned about the amount of money that I have on me because um, it's a lot. It's 300 and something. And, uh, I would feel much safer if I just donated that to the camp or I used it for something. So hopefully I don't get robbed too many times. Hmm, can I somehow... No, I can't get up this way, I don't think. Hmm. Okay, I'm pretty sure that I can't go any further north this way because this right here looks like an area that you can't really access mm. i do want to ride around this <coughs> what about this oh no i feel like the actually yeah no yeah no oh fuck <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, Calcifer. I know, I know. We're still not a circus horse. Hmm. A woman in the woods. Okay, I'm pretty sure that the lady who they were talking about is not near this area. Ooh, look. never get tired of these views. These are truly gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And the music is different. Now that we are north. I... Okay, he does not care <laughs> that we are here. Uh, I was thinking, like, what should I do? So I feel like we're continuing follow this road right here and let's see where it takes us um i noticed that there is a railroad right there and there should be some type of a building maybe a house right ahead of us somewhere on the other side of the railroads but i'm not quite sure where it is i feel like we're taking a look at that and time maybe let's see Ooh. 
watch that. Oh, more animals. I'm excited. This is very interesting. I... I, I like this. I, I like the fact that we don't really have a proper plan for this episode. I feel like that's a good thing, because... For the past couple of episodes, I've had like a clear idea of what I want to do. But I do enjoy exploring, as I've told you before, so I feel like this might be a good idea. And I also don't want to neglect the northern areas of the map, because I'm pretty sure I will find some nice things here. I don't know if it's a good idea to take Calcifer here with me, but we'll see. <laughs> Wait. I feel like, uh, where is my... I, I wanna take a look at my treasure maps. Where are they? Here. No, not this one. Hmm. Actually, maybe it wasn't the treasure map. I don't know, I thought that I've seen this area before, somewhere. But I guess I haven't, really. Uh, okay, is this going to happen or not? I am surprised. I am so surprised. <laughs> that that actually worked. Good! Alright, uh, can we get all the way up here? Not with the horse, I don't think. What if we go this way? This kind of looks like it's doable, maybe. Oh, oh. Fuck. Ah. All right, bad idea. Bad idea. Okay, sorry, honey. I should probably. <laughs> Oh my good god. Um... I'm here. I'm sorry, pal. I'm, I'm really sorry. Alright, I don't think there is a way up. So let's continue. It was nothing. Mm, can we get down this way without killing our horse? I guess we will soon find out. Yeah. Hmm. I was kind of hoping to find one of those murals. That fuck. That we have seen before, but no murals here, as far as I can tell. Beautiful. I do like the sound of the water. It's it's just so yeah. soothing. I like that. Whoa! <laughs> Fuck! No! No! Don't go any further, please. I like how misty it is. Oh well, yeah, I feel like that must be the house. I can at least I can see some smoke, or maybe that's an old tree skull camp. Probably. Hmm. Oh, what's that? An unknown animal. I'm kind of tempted to go all the way down there and see what's... Yeah. 
there's something here. Let's see, because I feel like the best okay. things can usually be found somewhere other than on the side of the road. But this kind of looks dangerous, so... Now. I don't know really. I can't really see anything super interesting, so I feel like I'm just gonna go back up. If we can go back up, that is. Alright. Oh. This way. <laughs> There is a reason why I do not own a horse. Hmm. He's hazy. I'm too hasty. Uh, hmm. I'm kind of wanting to get all the way up there because I feel like there must be a way up and there might be something there that I want to take a look at, but I don't know. The terrain is kind of difficult, so. I'm pretty sure that I can't go through yeah. this with a horse. No, I can't. Slow down. Okay, slow down. I don't want to torture you to death. I don't think I can do it either because there are, yeah, there are all of all of those rocks here. That's a sign that permission to continue all the way up is not granted. Alrighty then. So let's move forward. Hmm. Is this the area that I tried to take a look at earlier? Maybe we can get all the way down from here. Hey, he's no, I don't think so. I think this is way too high up still. Oh, definitely. Definitely. You okay, boy? Hmm. Alright, there is... Um, what is that? I think that's a camp of some kind. Right in front of us. At least I can see some smoke. Coming from there. Let's see if we will pay a visit to that area. Hmm. There we go. Let's see. Ah. Okay, I feel like this might be the way down. Should I try that? I want to yeah. try it. Interesting, what's here? Oh yeah, this is the road. Ah. Alright. Alright, alright. I actually thought that the road... Oh, no, wait a second. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, never mind. <laughs> Forget what I said. Okay, this... I don't know how good of an idea this is, really, but... Let's see, I don't think I can get to the other side. Look. Well... Let's try this anyway. We're already here, we're all... We're already going down, so... Easy, whoa! Let's see. I can hear the rocks moving. <laughs> like this is, the, you know, the type of a place where the developers usually put something. You, you know, they hide something valuable in. It looks like one of those places, so that's why I want to take a look at this. Really. 
I was so sure that I would find something interesting from here. I'm taking a look at this. I'm not giving up. Wait. Oh, there must be something here. Please tell me that there is something here. Okay, I need to get to the other side. Be from here. What? Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I got so scared for a second. Oh, so it's a. It's an old train that probably... I don't know when this fell off. Probably like ages ago. There must be some valuables here. Or I hope there is. Hmm. Oh, maybe inside of this? Because the door is open. There must be something here. Ka-ching! It's a chest. What's inside of it? Field fold? What is that? Oh, a lot of cash. Right. Coin sack? Cool. Jewelry? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I really hope that nobody wants to rob us today because um, this body got some cash. I'm so glad that we took a look at this. This is the stuff that I love about games. You know, little secrets like this, or I don't even know if this is a secret really. Does this count as a secret? Maybe. I would say that most of the people don't want to take a look at stuff like this. Or am I just wrong? Maybe. I am not sure if there is anything else in here because that see you know that was a lot of stuff and that kind of makes me think that that was all that i could find from this place but let's take a look i don't think i can get inside of that uh, what do you call it? Is that a train car? I think that's called a car. Right? If it isn't, uh, let me know what these are called. I'm pretty sure that's a car. Uh... Oh yeah, I guess that was it. No bodies here. So I feel like this wasn't recent. Because I would think that they would have, you know, there would be bodies here. This happened very recently. Hmm. Okay, now that we're down here, I'm just thinking, like, what should I do? Because I, yeah, I'm all the way down here. I do want to take a look at that. It looks important. But then, then there is this one building here. And I do want to, I do want to know what that is. I don't even know if I can get my horse here because, you know, I don't know how Calcifer would make his way all the way here. Hmm. Oh, look. There's a guy there. I guess he's fishing, right? Hmm. Oh, yeah, I shouldn't eat this. Isn't this like super toxic? Common bull, bull rush. I think it is. 
Okay, I don't think Calcifer can follow me here, so I feel like I should go back. Maybe I can come back here a bit later. I'm trying to remember that. And if I don't, please, please remind me of this place so that I don't forget. Actually, what if I... Can I go all the way up there? Oh yeah, that's Calcifer. Never mind. I guess I have a... I own a circus horse after all. <laughs> Hi buddy, where are you? I know. What a terrible terrain. Horrible indeed. I'm so glad you found your way here. Okay, fella. What a good boy. It'll take more than that, boy. Yeah, he's such a good boy. But hey, um, let's take a look at that yeah. one building. Now that Calcifer found us, and then we're gonna go back up. Let's follow the... Follow the river? Okay, how do we... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's go down. Here. And follow the coast. I'm pretty sure that the light is not helping, so... Let's get rid of that. We're not tracking the animal. Thank you. it be? Oh, it's here. It's close. It should be here. There. It's abandoned. That's even open. <gasps> it's a murder. <gasps> what happened here? We're taking a look at this. We are taking a look at this. I don't know if this helps. Can I see better? Actually, I can. That's good news. Um, who killed you guys? Or did you kill each other? I think you kind of did. Or actually, oh wait a second. I'm just gonna loot this place first. Purple maid. Okay, I have enough of that. No, I'm not gonna sleep here. Hmm. Anything inside of the... Course. Why can't I take the... Um... I'll close it. Ah, alright, you can't carry more of this item. Obviously. Ah. It looks like they were trying to... Oh, wait a second. Maybe this guy was the owner of the place because he, I guess he had a hammer. And maybe this guy tried to break in. Because look, when you look at that, I'm just gonna call that a hook because I don't know what else to call it. And you compare the wounds of this guy to that. I, I guess this guy tried to rob the place. No, I don't think he was robbing the place, actually. I feel like they were probably, like, friends, I don't know. 
because there were you know look look at the situation there are two beer bottles here so they were probably having a beer and then something went terribly wrong hmm i wish i knew more about this <laughs> i would like to know more interesting I'm glad that I came here. <laughs> Alright, I feel like we should probably get back up. Oh. Or we could get to the other side. I feel like we should go back up and um, actually go back the same way to Calcifer. Where Calcifer came from. Because if we go to the other side of the river, I feel like we are visiting the same areas that we have already seen before, or at least it looks like that to me. And I want to go further to the north. Because I feel like there could be some really nice adventures that are waiting for us, and I do want to experience all of those. Okay. So let's go that way. Actually, now that we are here, I want to take a look at this too. I'm pretty sure there is something here. Oh! What was that? A fox. <gasps> One star silver fox. Ah, oh. we haven't seen those before. I've seen regular foxes. The silver fox can be found in various habitats across the states. They are omnivores, feeding on plant matter, rodents, insects, birds, and carrion. What is carrion? Ah. Uh, also known as carcass, meaning dead animals. Cool. A bow with arrows or a repeater is considered to be the best weapon to either wound or kill a fox. Okay. Now I won't know what that is. Um. Just give me a minute, boy. Let's get it. Let's do it just for the sake of it. I know it's basically the pelt is already ruined. But at least I got the meat. Hey! Um, I'm gonna stow it. Maybe I could cook the meat. Sounds good. <gasps> It's not the best quality meat, but hey, we're not that picky. Hmm. Alright, Calcifer, let's go a little bit further. I feel like I should cook the fox pretty soon before the, um, oh my god, before the mean meat goes bad, I mean. Okay, um, this is one of those situations where I might be stupid, but I would like to take a look behind the waterfall. Like, is there a chance that there would be something there? Because that's a very classic place to actually hide something in, but I don't know. It doesn't look like I can. Actually, before we do that, I'm gonna save the game. Because this might be the most idiotic thing that I do. Don't drown. Do not drown. 
All right. He took a swim near the waterfall. And there was nothing there. Cool. Um, go up. What? So it was nothing. Cool, cool, cool. So now I feel like we're ready to go all the way back up and continue our adventures. It's a tree, honey. Yep. We can deal with that. We can deal with that information, okay? Let's go up. Beautiful. I can't wait to go fishing in this game. That would be lovely too. But I'm just, you know, getting the hang of hunting, so I'm not in a rush. Yeah. I am tempted to hunt more pelts because I would like to upgrade the satchel some more. Just so that I can carry more provisions on me and, you know, all that other stuff. And I also want better clothes. And I want to buy something nice for the camp. I feel like people at the camp would be, you know, would appreciate some new items and upgraded things. Alright, now, Calcifer, um, this is going to be really important. When I say to stay. stay. Because Daddy is going to do something unhinged. I want to take a look at the... Tunnel. Nothing here, I don't think. Or I couldn't see anything interesting. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's the area we visited before. And that's where the road goes. what's here no don't jump back down i actually thought that that was a road what say ah you saying elixir there was something is that a pack of cigarettes no no it's not dang it <laughs> It was a pack of matches. Well, actually, I've been thinking, like, if I find, um... Let me stop running. I can't talk and run at the same time. But, um, I was thinking, having this thought about, uh... I was thinking about the secret cards the other day, like, surprise, surprise. But, um... Let's drink this first. Good. So I was thinking... Like, do some secret cards just spawn? You, you, you know, it, it. for some reason I can't explain this very simple thing. That is that I've been thinking whether some of the secret cards can spawn in, you know, multiple different places. Like, can I find the same cards in different locations? So now... That I found the matches that are usually next to the premium secret cards. Does that mean that I had a chance to find a card there that I've already found before? And maybe there are some more rare cards that you can only find from very specific places. Is that how it works? I feel like it might work because it feels mm, like the game is super like this is a big game it's the world is very huge and very detailed so it makes me think that some of the very basic cards would be you know 
that's likely. Would spawn in multiple places. Hmm. Okay, I wanna try this one thing. Get out of here. What if I just drop you? You best hot. All right. All right. Can't see. Bye. <laughs> oh, he dropped something. why I did this. I just wanted to see if there is any point of you know maybe robbing these random camps that we see from time to time that are owned by just some random strangers. Okay I feel like it m <sighs> might be handy kind of maybe but I'm losing some honor while doing it so i don't really know if this is something that i will do on a regular basis but i just wanted to try it out uh i'm gonna maintain one of my weapons i already maintained these maybe maybe springfield rifle like why not i'm gonna maintain it so that i can just take the gun oil with me also i forgot to mention this you probably noticed this already but just in case you didn't, I decided to equip a Flakor's revolver. So now I have Midnight's pistol, so now I'm dual wielding that and Midnight's pistol. Uh, I used to have shaved off, shaved off shotgun in my offhand, and I totally forgot to change that. And after the previous episode, one of you mentioned that I should probably try something else so thanks for reminding me because I totally forgot <laughs> mm. good actually now that I'm I'm actually thinking that oh can you just take that please Oh, actually, we should cook the fox, now that I remember. I got some stingy meat. Uh, I feel like I should cook some of these. Because I always forget. This is such a simple mechanic and I still forget. There's something so calming about like all of this. I like it. I like the fact that the, you know, cooked meat doesn't just, you know, appear into my inventory. So let's brew some coffee too. Let's have a coffee moment. After a hard day of work, let's pour some coffee. Also, I should change my clothes because I look hideous once again. That's my Arthur. He looks fancy sometimes, but most of the times, not really. <laughs> we knives, I don't think we're going to craft anything else. This is good. Thank you. Let's change our clothes. So we don't look that horrible. What is this? Oh yeah, this one. Right. <laughs> is there anything else that we could wear? Hopefully this isn't too cold. I mean, we will soon find out. Yeah, I was thinking that I could have maybe lassoed the guy who owned the camp. I could have tied him up and robbed the place and just uh, 
split him free. I feel like that would have been a really good idea too. Yep. Let's continue our journey. Is that a fortress? Or is that the Fort Vallis? Is that what it is? Let's take a look at it. Let's have a look. That's it. I don't remember if somebody has already told us about this place. It seems to be pretty much guarded. Like there is this red, you know, area surrounding it. Yeah, I guess that's the guard. But at least it belongs to Americans, but. I don't really know what the, the deal is. I don't think that's owned by the old Triscoll boys, so... I don't know who owns it. The law, maybe? I do not know. Or maybe I do, but I just don't remember. What else is here? The most difficult thing about just freely exploring is just making decisions on where to go next. Because there are just so many places that I could explore. Hmm, hard to decide. And I'm gonna do all of this at once. Yep. I wanna look at all of this. Okay, I could go all the way down. Should I do that, maybe? And if you don't find anything super interesting, we can always go back up. I don't think we've gone this far. Like, at all. We came pretty close when we met those... What were those? That... What was that religious group? The ones who were worshipping turtles? I don't think they were worshipping turtles, but you know, they really like turtles. That's something that I know. <laughs> we came pretty close to this area at that time, but we didn't take a good look at this at all. We could go across the bridge, but I'm not sure if we should really do that. Hey. Because I have a feeling that we're not gonna be welcome there, so... Yeah. Maybe we're not gonna do that this time. Hmm. Okay, and this brings us back to the area where we just visited, I think. The reason why I'm taking a look at this place kind of meticulously, maybe, uh, is that I'm pretty sure that there should be some caves here nearby or i don't know if there is but i'm kind of hoping that there would be but i haven't seen any so so i don't know hmm hmm is there something there Don't know. Yep. Let's go back. Let's go back up. I don't think there's anything super interesting 
here. At least it doesn't seem like it. I guess Fort Wallace, Vallis, however you call it, is probably the most important thing here. But as I told you before, I have no memory of the whole thing. Maybe we will visit that with Dutch and other members of our gang at some point. But I feel like I shouldn't do that alone because it's the whole place is probably full of guards. So I feel like taking a look at it alone would probably be suicide. So let's not do that. I'm enjoying peace and quiet for now. Oh, this place looks truly gorgeous. I feel like I should probably take a look at the map and decide where I'm gonna head next. I do want to stay on this side of the river. I do want to take a look at Katora Springs because it looks important because it's marked on the map. But this area right here interests me too. And I also want to take a look at this because this is a new train station that we haven't visited before. I would like to take a look at that. But then I can also see that there's a road that leads all the way up here. Wapiti Indian Reservation. Oh, should we take a look at that? Uh, oh, we should. But what are we going to do first? I feel like what we're going to do is that I'm going to the train station. And we're going back to Horseshoe Overlook because I do want to spend some of the money that I already have. And then we could maybe buy another ticket back here and we could take a look at this place after that. Let's see, I do want to take a look at this first. Let's go underneath the bridge. Oh yeah. I want to spend the money that I have on me because I have a feeling that the Indians, they might be friendly or they might not be. In the case that they are not, I don't want to lose all of my belongings. Also, this place looks gorgeous. Gorgeous. I would yep. love to visit a place like this someday. It looks so peaceful. I feel like I would just... I don't know. Just walking around in a place like this would be so healing, I feel like. It would feel... it would heal my soul. That's how I feel like. Also, I'm gonna go back to Horseshoe Overlook because I feel like I should maybe continue John's quest line a little bit. Because I feel like we're going to do so much exploration or exploring in this video. And I do want to do something else too. So that it's not just me, you know, aimlessly roaming around. I think you get what I mean. Okay. Oh, no, 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 not that fast. Oh, yeah, that's where the train station is. Actually. Hmm. Is there another road that leads there? Well, it's basically this one. Okay, we're going to the station. Yeah. I'm so indecisive when it comes to decisions like this. Well, let's be quick about this. I don't want to get ran over by the train. Okay, what is Please. this Whoa. place? New Hanover's... Bacchus, Bacchus Station. <laughs> Probably, maybe. It doesn't. It doesn't look like it's open at all. I don't think. Yeah, it looks pretty much empty. Oh, at least there is one hitching post. I was just gonna say that there isn't even a place where I can hitch the horse. <clears throat> okay, uh, the silver fox is 
just... I don't know. I'm just gonna leave you here. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. You're smelling. I don't like it. Um, cargo only. Okay, I don't think we can travel to this station and back. It's probably one of those, you know, a similar situation than Wallace Station, for example. <gasps> hey, it's a card. Oh, Colleen Henderson. She is beautiful. Gems of beauty. What else? But yeah, it kind of looks like this place is out of order. Can I go inside, maybe? Hmm, doesn't look like it. Also, we can't even break the locks. Were those Indians? I didn't take a... Oh, they are, I think. I hope they're friendly. I'm not one of those Americans. I, I'm a good American. I think. Yeah, I'm taking this smelly fox with me. But yeah, uh, this makes me think, you know, the look of this place makes me think that I can't buy a train ticket here. So I can see that there's this little trail that goes underneath the railroads or underneath the bridge so maybe I should take a look at that and then continue my way up near Donner Falls take a look at whatever is in here there is an Indian reservation weapons forbidden interesting and then I could travel all the way back here take a look at Kotora Springs and then I could maybe walk back to Valentine or something like that. At least this is my plan for now. Is this how things are gonna go? Probably not. <laughs> because usually when I plan something like this, I'm like, oh, this is exactly what I'm gonna do. That's exactly what I'm not gonna do. So, okay. Um, Am I ready to kill my horse? Probably. Okay, I'm not sure about the fox. I should actually leave it somewhere because. God damn it! <laughs> it's really smelly. Um, I'm gonna hit my horse here. I feel like that's a good idea. I should probably continue on foot. It looks like. Actually, maybe there is like a treasure nearby, do you think? Okay, this is a bloody horrible place to be in. Actually, um, I'm, I'm here. Let's go down. I honestly don't know why I'm carrying this smelly carcass with me, but... At least I feel important, I guess. Oh, there's something... Is that a barrel down there? I'll take a look. There we go. But if I take a look, I don't know if I can come back up. Actually, well, what the hell? Where... Well, what, what am I gonna do? Halcifer, I'm gonna leave you here. Okay, this is even the worst place than the one that we were... In like a second ago but I want to take a look at this and hopefully we don't die let's hope we don't actually we are probably gonna I'm gonna forget about that okay forget about that forget about it forget about it you didn't see it just do what you were planning to do okay <laughs> this is how I talk to myself every day it's like, do it, don't do it, don't do it. Just don't do it. <laughs> Getting distracted. There must be something here. If there isn't, I will be so surprised. Bushes. At least there are some nice views. 
I like it. Anything else? Oh no, I actually have an idea of what this might... Oh god. What this might be? I feel like we've taken a look at this area already, right? Didn't we? Actually, I'm not sure. Well, we're going on foot. I'm not taking Calcifer with me because I don't think I trust him that much. I see smoke. Actually... What is this? I actually thought this would be a dead end. Oh, were those? Well, it would be a good idea to maybe take a horse with me next time, don't you think? Okay, uh, I don't really know what I'm going to do, so, well, it depends on who these people are. Here were these, old tree skulls. Oh yeah. Because if they were Indians, I would leave them alone, but... Hmm. I have an idea, and it might be fucking stupid, as per usual. I don't know how far I can throw, but I'm gonna try. Hey, rifle! Come on. Okay, go. Go to the camp. Make it a good one, fella. This is your life. I didn't realize that he was that close. Okay, one more. Yes, it's my camp now. I guess it is. Ah, uh, Calcifer, I don't... Uh, well, I just told people that you're, well, not that athletic, but I need you now, so I hope that you will find your way here. <laughs> Lancaster Repeater. Do I have one? I do. Okay. Let's clean this up. We might get some company. I mean, you never know. Hmm. Medical box. Always happy to see those. Anything else? Hmm. Only pills, and I guess we don't care about those. This looks important. Okay, not then. I'm actually kind of surprised that we haven't completely ran out of old tree skulls because I've killed, you know, many of those during this playthrough and the guys just keep spawning. <laughs> There are a lot more of them in the world that I thought. I guess this is just, yeah, it's just trash, I think. That hat looks kind of cool. Let's try it on. Hmm. I mean, I guess it's fine. Maybe this one? Oh, it's a little better. 
Okay, hair pull made. I have enough of that. Ammo box. Good. Like my inventory is kind of full because I can't really pick anything up. Any cigarette parts? Mm, oat cakes, vegetables, and some cards. I see a card. Take those. Thank you. And who is it? Famous gunslinger. And that is Black Bell. Nice. We finally got her. I actually don't remember what other cards we have. I feel like we got Flackerhead Dundas. And his boys, maybe? I need to take a look. Secret cards. 39 out of 144 discovered. Oh, famous gunslingers. We got four. What is Miller boys? I don't think we have met these. Or have we? I don't think we have. Jack Hall gang. I think we've heard of those. Emmett Granger and Black Bell. Okay, so they, we don't have Black or Hernandez. Just yet. Hmm. Okay, I guess that was all. We can't really loot anything else because we already have a full inventory. Hmm. Alrighty. Alrighty. I'm actually leaving the fox here because it's starting to smell. Arthur. Hey, where are you going? Hey. Let's go, boy. Now that we are here, let's take a look at yep. this. Let's see what's on top of the hill. And then I'm ready to say hi to the Indians. I hope that they're welcoming. I mean, it looks like it. If we just leave our weapons, you know. Ah, you must be saying. I was kind of hoping to find maybe different plants. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't seem like there is much else see here, so I think we should okay, then. kill our horse, apparently. Yeah. Just move forward. I was kind of hoping that we could go back to Horseshoe Overlook and maybe get rid of the money that we are having on, on right now, but you know what? This is fine too. Oh, I got... Oh. You know, my foot felt so yeah. numb just a while back. And now I'm starting to regain the feeling and all I feel is pins and needles. It feels very uncomfortable, so... Please, whoa. Just wanted to mention this if I... Oh, hey. Think you can help a lady if I out? make weird faces, hey! My horse up and died on me, twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Up on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. 
Haven't you met this woman before? You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? Sure. I mean, the Indians can wait, I think. Sure. Glad I ran oh. into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Poor thing. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool. Always complaining, but does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away. Aside from to lift a drink, of course. Obviously. Marriage for me has been nothing but trouble. Hmm. But Biscuit, he was a fine animal. Oh, he was Biscuit. Loyal, smart, brave. What a nice name. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off. But I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Really? Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Kicked his hide too as he was Ooh. hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. It's a Biscuit. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. <coughs> so, you live at Emerald Ranch then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. Hmm. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Huh. Emerald Ranch, well... It's a strange place. I've heard. Can you tell How me so? what's so strange about it? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. The lights in bullying folk. Hmm. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. <sighs> you can see her in the window sometimes. Ooh. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found so an that's old the secret. There, all shut down now. But I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains. I saw that too. Something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. Yeah. Either way, it's time I left. Especially now I lost that poor horse. I'll collect my belongings and be on my way. Back home? I guess. I bet my husband's right where I left him. Bottle in hand. Do you know anything about the strange store-looking place that I don't think that's a store at all? Because it's never open. That's a bad... like... Why would you... Why would you start selling stuff? And never keep your store open? I don't understand. But I'm glad that I found this woman because now... I know more about Emerald Rands. I was so... I was just wondering, like, what's so weird about the place? Hello because there. it's been mentioned before and, you know, I saw the saloon and I saw that something violent happened there. And then there is a strange door and, you know, in the middle of the place there is this yeah. fancy looking house. Here I say mansion, and uh, you can't get inside of it. Interesting. I wonder where, what I should do next. Like, should I maybe try and peek through the windows? Maybe the daughter is inside and we could maybe rescue her? Like, I don't know. I should pay more attention to the windows. Definitely. Interesting. Also, it looks like we're not saying hi to the Indians anytime soon because we're going back to the Emerald Ranch and I feel like we should go to Horseshoe Overlook after that. So we can finally buy the chicken coops and everything. I feel like that sounds good. And maybe we could continue the... You know, that oil wagon quest with John. Sounds oh, like a good we're idea. Close now. I don't think I've ever come to Emerald Ranch this way. This is probably the first time. 
Oh yeah, it is. Hmm. Okay, but oh, actually, maybe this lady lives in that strange house. Or maybe not. Hmm. Here we go. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. You're welcome. Please, take this as my way of thanking you. What is it? Hmm. The ring. Appreciate nice. it. <sighs> what a lousy day. <laughs> Let's see where she lives. Is the saloon open? Hey, we're taking a look at that. Oh yeah, I guess the husband is where she left him. It looks like it's open. Let's take a look at it. You rest now, boy. Maybe we will get more information about the people in this town now. Okay, let's see. Actually, I don't think it's open at all. I guess that light just kind of tricked me into thinking that it would be open. There are some lights here. I guess somebody is living here. Because why... No, I don't want to crouch. I want to... Hmm... Because why else would there be lights on? I guess those are oil lamps. Let's try this again. No. Is there another door here? I don't think there is. Just a chimney. But there is definitely a room here that we cannot access to. Hi dog. Actually, not that it's really late. Let's try to pick... Oh my god, is that the... Oh no, it's not. I actually thought that somebody was... Standing... In front of the main door. Let's see if we can see a peek. We can see a peek. If we can peek through the windows. Hey, boy. Hi, dog. Yeah, just eat your food, I guess. Hmm. I guess that's the owner. Oh, he went to the bathroom. Hey! Let's use the back door. This might be a stupid idea. Like, seriously, but... Can we go in? I don't think we can. But why is he keeping the daughter in? Well, the window is... Look, is that the window? I think it is. Maybe that's the daughter's room. I guess I'm required to do something before we can get more information. I'm just gonna ask him a couple of questions. Hi. Hey, mister. God damn good. Calm down. All right. It's really weird that he is just standing in front of the main entrance like 24-7. Like who does that? Nobody. Interesting. I guess we need more information before we can continue that quest. I don't know if that's a quest, but whatever. Uh, we're waiting till the morning. I do want to say hi to Seamus. Um, because I want to sell some stuff. There's a new journal entry. 
That sounds good too. And this is still not open. I'm... The fuck? Time to go, boy. Hmm. I feel like we need to find some people who have more information about this place. At least the lady knew something. Maybe we could talk to her if she's still here. Because now I'm interested. I'm interested in this whole thing. And you just like hitch the horse maybe. Hi, Seamus. Ah, I recognize that face. I'm glad you it's do. It's worth buying. I'll buy it. Uh, we are selling a couple of. Come across a few of these myself. Leaves. Oh yeah. Then I have the gold. Should I? S I I'm actually not gonna sell the gold nugget. I'm gonna keep it still. But I think I have this. Mm, I have some items that I could use for. Oh yes. People Nothing. lose these all the time. Been a pleasure doing business with you. Got a little kick show in mind. Because huh? I got something from Debra. Here. A quartz chunk. I could get a bear claw talisman if I could I only need silver chain bracelet. And then I could get like a talisman that permanently decreases the speed at which the health core drains by 10%. That sounds really good, but I just need a silver chain. Well, I guess I'm just gonna buy th this nice. so that I get all the pamphlets. I, I feel like that's a good idea. Thank you for your help. Yeah, it sounds good. Okay, so I know that we need that one bracelet and then we can get a new talisman. And also needs buckhorns. I would like to get that talisman rather quickly. I don't know if that's gonna happen in this episode or sometime later, but I feel like that would be really important when it comes to crafting. Crafting, I mean... Hunting. My lord. I can't speak. But yeah, uh, let's go to Horseshoe Overlook. I feel like that's important because now we have so much money on us that we should really spend that. Right, really, really spend that. Hey, where are you headed, mister? Well, Need a ride? back home, actually. Uh, I would like to go to Valentine, if that's okay. So partner, can I get a ride? Where's your destination? Well, Valentine. I need to go to Valentine. Okay then, we'll get there in no time. I'm kind of upset about the fact that we can't use the train station that we found in this episode because it would be so nice to travel all the way back there and take a look at the northern regions, but you know, that's not gonna happen today, I don't think. I'm glad that I know that there's an Indian reservation there. Uh, maybe there is a quest that will just lead us to there. All right, I don't know, you go, but I wouldn't be surprised Thanks. if... Oh. You help me out. <laughs> Thank you very much. That hurt. Who's that? Arthur, dumbass. Yeah, I would think you already know who I am. <laughs> he doesn't recognize me because it's been so long since, I, since I've been here. Alrighty. Morning, mister. Good morning. Uh, Alright, let's do some shopping. Good morning, Arthur. Morning, morning. Oh, where have you been, big man? Out and about, you know. I missed you, son. You find anything interesting? Actually, yeah. It's strange country out there. That it is. Totally is. 
look. Then, not so well, I guess. And mine. <laughs> I'm sorry, Hosea. Why? <laughs> For selfish reasons. You... Uh, you, um... Well, you've been like a father to me. You helped me so much. Not just with the reading, but... With the living. You'll be fine. You always have been. Good morning, Arthur. I hope so. Well, trust me. Jack's gonna be fine. You'll be fine. If we can only get old John to see it a little sense, we might be able to make a proper family of you yet. <laughs> well, we both know that ain't gonna happen. Well... <laughs> Let's take a cup of coffee. So, what about your family? Oh, I would like to hear My this. My family, well, you know. They all died long ago. Mm. Guess I'm kind of getting ready to be reunited. Only, I fear my dear Bessie went to heaven while I'll be heading south. Isn't that so, Arthur? I reckon all of us is heading that way. I feel At like... At least we won't be lonely. At you. <laughs> <laughs> Away with the pair of you. <laughs> uh, they were having a nice warm moment and we just basically ruined it. I'm sorry. Yeah, Hosea doesn't look that good. It's just, you know, hanging there. It's not your time to go yet. I don't think. I hope so, because I really you like ain't you. ain't going nowhere yet, old friend. Well, <clears throat> I'm ready. Oh, don't say don't that. Don't talk like that. Yeah, you're still young. I mean, you're not 20, but you're still young. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right, Arthur. But I feel like he's, maybe he's feeling a little sad. I don't know. And if he's sick, obviously he doesn't, you know, feel the best. Hi, Molly. Always good to see. You. Morning, Arthur. Looking beautiful as always. Okay, Letcher. I do probably need How's to actually. Do I need to donate to the camp first? I'm gonna try this. Let's try. Uh, we should probably restock. Yeah, that sounds good. And then chicken coop. Can we buy it? Nice. Oh, it increases the quality of Pearson stew. I kind of knew that this might be the case. Good. Poor station. Ah, I don't know. I feel like there might be some better... We could spend our money for something better, I think. Medicine. Let's restock. Say with ammunition. Good. And then we're going to contribute. I've been working. Uh, Do some work, theory. This isn't a holiday camp. Oh, Susan is just having a moment. I don't know if I wanna hear about that. <laughs> to be honest, she kind of scares me. All right, and then some money too. I feel like that would be a great idea. I'm not gonna give them everything, but I do want to give a substantial amount, maybe 60. Keep it coming. All right, good. All right, so what's everybody doing? Pearson, how is it hanging? Morning, Arthur. Morning. 
Arthur, don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft you something if you bring me the right materials. Mm. So I've heard. Okay, we need a couple of elks, panther, raccoons. Thank you, Mr. Pearson. What are you doing? Mr. Strauss? How was it looking around Blackwater when you got Sean? Not good. Well, that was it. <laughs> All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay, Mr. Morgan. Swanson, how is it going? You don't look so good. You're ice. Are you isolating on purpose, maybe? Folks seem happy, Mr. Morgan. We have been provided for. But we I'm have happy to hear have that. A fine time, sir. Oh, you're in a good mood. Reading the Bible. Okay. Sorry. Hi, Sean. Whittler in all Ireland. Hmm. You gonna help out around here? Jesus, you never let up, do you? <laughs> Me? Have you seen Susan? I warn you, I'm not much joy to behold at the moment. Ah, uh, folks. All right. I guess well? in Abigail and John are having some type of a. Maybe not a fight, but you know, relationships are complicated sometimes. Let's make ourselves look maybe a little less like monkeys, I guess. All facial hair. I'm gonna leave a little bit on. I, I like that. And then let's pomade the hair. That looks great. Alright, let's see what Sean has on his mind. So I stole the wagon, and what now? John? Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe they had eaten all of his brain if he didn't intervene, but oh, whatever. <laughs> These guys are too funny. What is that, Abigail? Oh, he has a quest for me too. A fisher of men. Oh, I will finally learn how to fish. But I also need to find. Uh, what was that? Charles, did he say? Well, where the hell is he? I can't really see any, like, markers anywhere. Are we supposed to do Abigail's mission before we can... Hi. Sure Grimshaw would find some problem oh. with that. Hello, Arthur. You're not really big fans of Susan, you aren't doing? you, ladies? Oh, I'm fine. Happy to have Sean back. <laughs> yeah, you'll never be quiet around here again. <laughs> well, he seemed actually quite quiet. Hey there. Hi, Arthur. Hi, Tilly. Hi, Kieran. Kieran. Hey. Uncle? Uncle. What's up? Hey, Arthur. But yeah, I feel like I probably should do the Abigail's west first what are you doing with them knives my friend poisoning the dips why makes for a quicker kill and you could take down a bear with one of these really you hit it in the right spot interesting oh. get me some oleander i'll show you how to make some pretty easy well, <laughs> three thanks over here do you know I'm where they grow them. Wait. Javier has asked for some oleander. We gonna eat sometime today. Damn it, we don't have Oh, we've used all of those up, I think. Oh, I should go and pick him some. Also, I need to find a pipe for Dutch. Like it's been ages since he asked that asked for that, but I just haven't found. A pipe anywhere. The chickens. 
I'm sorry, this is another one of those episodes where I'm getting so sidetracked. Look at those! They were so cute! So many chicken. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Don't worry about it, Reverend. I made a fool of myself again. Ah. Uh. We've all done that, Reverend. Yeah, that's I'm cool. Bitterly ashamed. Really. I am. Ask them, sheriff, about a bounty. Shoot a godforsaken animal. I don't care. Do something. Yeah. Oh. Hosea has had it. I'll go. Soon. Thank you. Hi, Susan. Happy as always. Hi, Hosea. It's black water. There's Pinkertons everywhere. So no getting in? No. Nope. I don't think so. Not for now, anyway. He's not doing well. Are you okay, pal? Doesn't look so good. Where are you going? Hmm. Hi there. Hi. You know what, Kieran? I'm really worried about Hosea. Hmm. I don't feel like he wants to talk to us right now. What is that weird mark on the map? Hi? Hey, Mary Beth. So we're working on a plan for that train you told me about. Oh, I was wondering about that. It sounded worth a look. Yeah, that's a good tip. For sure. You did good. I know this song. <laughs> Impressive. Sorry. Hey, I picked up some oleander. Is this enough? Yeah, should be plenty. I'll get working on some more knives oh, later. Oh, I had some. Oh no, yes, I did. I did. I didn't run out of oleander plants. I ran out of the... Love, what was that? I ran out of feathers. Yeah, for the arrows. Obviously. I was just... I don't know, whatever. Oh, this made me feel so Come good about oleander. myself. We're discussing ladies bloomers. <laughs> Great. Um All right. I got something else to do. But yeah, I'm happy that I don't have to go back to the swamp of sorrows. We're stuck in the ship now, Mr. Morgan. In the ship. We're drowning in mud. What's going on? You were in Dramatic such a good mood like a second ago. Away with words. words are the very least of my problems. The very least. Right. I'm sure. All right. So I'm really trying to finish my thought here, but I was thinking that I should continue John's quest. But I don't, I can't find the guy anywhere. And also, actually, I do. He's here. All right. John asked you to meet him and Charles at the oil wagon. Okay, I guess we're going there. It just took him a while to actually get there, because I was just about to say that I should probably do Abigail's mission instead of that, because I don't know where John went. Alright, he's there. Let's go and have a look. Because I do want to see what happens next. Do we need any other oil wagons? Because there was one near Valentine, or actually I feel like it was, you know, right in the middle of Valentine, almost. Yeah. I don't know if we still need that, or if one wagon is enough for us to stop the drain. Well, we will soon find out. Time really flies when you play this, which is... Hey, you sit down and shut your mouth. Oh, more criminals. Clear the wagon, sir. Ah, sons of bitches. Why? Howdy, you ain't here. going nowhere. I'll kill all of you. Will you just shut up back there? 
the big ring. But yeah. Um, what was yep. I saying? Yeah, the time flies when you play this. And uh, that's why my episodes are always so long. Because, for example, now I've been sitting here for two and a half hours and I haven't done anything, <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> so I'm trying to get some things done so that I'm not just like, I don't know, roaming around the map and not completing anything. I don't know, I just like exploring. And sometimes you just... You feel like only half an hour has passed. And then you realize that you've actually been filming for four hours. And you, when you look at, back at things that you've actually done already, you feel like... You realize that you haven't really finished anything. I mean, the, the fact that you can play this game for four hours without actually completing anything or doing anything significant, like story-wise, tells me that this is... They actually successfully made a game that's fun to play. And that's what I like, because I like good-looking games, obviously, but... The most important thing for me is that the game is fun to play. Because, yeah, it's impressive if you make a game that looks like a movie, basically, and there are, like, cutscenes every five minutes. But I, I don't have that much fun playing games like that. For some reason. I would much rather play an older game that looks a little bit rusty and dusty. And that's super fun to play. So yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. Also, I can still hear the gunshots, so it makes me think that maybe that one... Hmm. Okay, I'm not gonna go there yet. Maybe the... is that gun... gun guy here? <laughs> was he Mexican? Maybe he was. Is he somewhere near this area? Or is that just John? Oh yeah, I guess that's John. Never mind. Oh yeah. Actually, that's Sean. Hi, pal. What are you doing? Shit. <clears throat> A little rusty, well, at are least you? it ain't your job. <laughs> ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. Well, I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides. What do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, hey, you're a real fucking funny <laughs> shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. <gasps> Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yo, yeah, well, you're gonna right. sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Great. Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Oh, Compare God. me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Sure. Threatened by you. Yeah, my youthful vigor. <laughs> it intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And where are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. And this is where we're resting. There's a shack nearby. 
Wake up, you lazy sir. Oh, we're going already. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. No. Trains get through tonight. <laughs> All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Well, I'm trusting Charles, so I Tell guess it, it will be all right. Let's go earn some money. Let's go. Uh, what about Calcifer? Um, hey, all the horses untethered? I think so. I guess we're leaving him. Good. Is this really the behind. first tree and we're hitting Find that? Find a good spot, Wolfman. <laughs> yeah, follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give him enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so it shouldn't be too much the way it comes to deal with. Hopefully. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. <laughs> Just the action that requires a brain. Ha <laughs> oh, ha you're a funny fella, John Marston. But my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick. I'm fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. Oh, sorry, mate. I blame you two uh, for rescuing. Arm is itching. All right, let's Far go. Too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah. Takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now. In the gunner sea. <laughs> Back in business. Boys. He's super excited. <laughs> I kinda like here, that. Towards Rhodes. Now, as I was saying, you know, my dad always used to say not the dad. No, please, <laughs> yes, oh. They're like, not the dad. dad. <laughs> Sulky, angry, scarface, a right barrel of laughs. I have a feeling that they've heard so, of that tale before. The wagon, then jump. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast. Take charitable donations and make sure. Charitable donations. <laughs> Little Mr. McGuire. You focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Shoot your mouth. Get a bullet back. So, what are you doing? I don't know. All on point. Keep an eye out for outriders and the law. Help you three where I can. All right for some. <laughs> Cherry picking, I call that. We'll be out in the middle of nowhere, so it'll take a while for any word to get to the law. But we should still move quick. Oi, oi, Scarface. Oh, shut up, please. We're close, Marston. We're at the railroad. Just carry on a bit further. All right. So we're leaving this where? Not here, apparently. Ah, now I know where we are. Yeah, we've been here before. I know. Good. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Alrighty. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right. Nobody needs to die. Here. Okay, so yeah, don't yeah. shoot everybody. Let's get it on the tracks. Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Oh no. Get moving. And I'm just standing here. Perfect. Yes, I'm not scared there at she all. Comes. I'm so excited. <laughs> Good. 
worth the passenger car. All right. Um. I need to get up there. Finish up here. Join us on board. Come on, get on there. All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. All right. Let's get in the train and don't kill anybody. Everybody stay calm and sure. make sure you get shot. Go! Everything you got! Money! Valuable! Um, there you go. Should I drop them? Quick, people, come on. Maybe what you got is to this bag is full! Okay, thank you. I ain't got nothing. Wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? I'll do anything. What about funny? you? Oh, What's the problem here? Don't help me. Oh, I don't want to beat them. Come, Come on. on. In the bag, everything you got. Keep it coming. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Thank you. What about you? Money. Nothing else. Oh, gold nugget. Real nice. Thank you. Deal with these two, will you, Mr. M? I want to count to three. One. Two. Oh, oh we beat them already. Thank you. Here, empty your pockets, Mr. Thank you. you can be on your way. Please, please. Don't Gonna need all your money, my friend. You got a big problem. Again, Rob. Good. Okay. Huh? Everything you got. Buckle. Nice. You show this son of a bitch uh, actually, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else. Beat the passenger. What passenger? No. Go you got, ahead and look for the baggage car. We ain't leaving till this bag. Maybe what you got, no, Mister. No, no. You won't get a damn get cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend. Okay, I guess I need to beat somebody. Ah, uh, who? Stick a gun in their be face. An idiot. Is Maybe you. Yes. Come on, cuff it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. Have we robbed everybody? I feel like we have. Hmm. Okay, I'm trying to see if there's anything else in here that we could get. Okay. Okay, Sean. Okay. None of you folks move a muscle. You hear me? Reach for your money. Nothing else. Thank you. You. What is it? You all right? Build the baggage car. Okay, I guess I need to go to Sean. You ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here. Right painting. Well, oh, that happened so fast, I didn't even think about it. Oh. Oh, come on, kill him. I'm sorry. Get up here, little Irish shit. Get up! Lord. This time I'll look and you provide the cover. Try my best, brother, but I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. Oh, cabinet. Very <laughs> funny. Where? Oh, here. He was so close that I didn't Looking even see good it. In here. Oh, cigar. Oh. Oh, nice. Got a right old lump on me head. Wish you ain't got a hole in it. True. Are those tennis rackets in there? Those <laughs> bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best. All right. I know. That's what's worrying me. I feel like we're probably gonna get some company really soon. So. Arthur, we've got a problem. Fuck. There's two assholes on horses. Obviously. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, Damn it! Sorry. I wasn't finished Hush, looting. Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? Well, we don't we hear. We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? Yep. That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberty. <laughs> There's a few more of them torn enough. Oh, no. Damn, my big mouth. Yep. Okay. Let's deal with them. We won't tell you again. Come out now with your hands up. Last chance. Drop your weapons we'll take and out get the off woman. the train. All right then. There they are. Well, I don't know how to.
to use the new... What the fuck are you doing? Over from the trees there. Where is my weapon? my horse. Calcifer, well, hello! Let's go. Uh, where are we going, by the way? Escape the law. Where? Uh, I think here? Uh, this way. Okay, I guess I need to kill them before they kill my... Oh, that's a friend of mine, I think. Oh, fuck! Ah! Oh, fucking shit! <laughs> no, that's so stupid! That's so stupid! Fell down to my death. Well, that was the first time. First time for everything. Damn it! Hell, oh, boys! Let's get the hell out of here! Ah, good idea. Okay, got the fucking wrong way. Go on the other side, on the other side. The horse, where's the goddamn horse? Tells you for now is not the time for circus tricks. Okay, let's go. Right, let's lose them. Let's go. Sounds like a good idea, let's lose them. You made the law by escaping. Okay, didn't read. Let's go. I don't think we even need to... Actually, let's go this way. I don't think we even need to shoot them, actually. Tangle's there now. Are you going to bed? Whoa! Good. Whoa! Ho -ho! <laughs> that was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Now yeah, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. Well, you weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big tank. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so. I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine. See if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. That sounds good. We got a lot of money. Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay, what should we... Where are we even? Ah. Okay, we are here. Should we go back to the camp? 
and see what everybody is doing? I think we should. Let's go back to the camp. That was fun. I like that. And we didn't kill any civilians. I'm happy about that. Because we're doing bad things, but Arthur is not completely heartless, so... I'm happy that I didn't accidentally kill anybody. Have I taken a look at this area before? it oh no um oh <laughs> okay let's try it again first. Maybe we are drawing it I feel like we are pretty ah also I think we got a new journal entry. Maybe it was this one. Yeah. We got it earlier, but I feel like that's... Maybe we just draw something. Good. I have a feeling that there might be something inside. Can I just... Uh... Oh. Well, this is not what I was meant to do. <laughs> Can I go in? I can. This is good. Anything else? What a fun mission that was. I really like that. And I'm so happy that we um, took Sean with us because he was really excited. And now he was his talkative self. And it sounds like he's told enough stories. So that when he starts, everybody else is kind of... <laughs> They're already kind of bored of that, maybe, a little bit. Like, I get it, the guy talks a lot, but I think he's kind of funny. He's a funny guy. And I like his accent. You can actually... Um, I mean, uh, this is just my opinion as a Finnish person, but I find that Irish accent is sometimes really hard to understand. I have problems with it. Like, I need to really concentrate uh, if I talk to an Irish person. There was this one time that I was at the bar, or actually it was a club, and there were a couple of Irish guys talking to me. They asked me something, but I just could not, for the life of me, figure out what they were talking about. You know, you're already at the club. Uh, the music is loud, people are drunk. They were trying to have a discussion, no idea what they said. But they had a good time, and I had a good time too. Welcome back, Arthur. And then I eventually told them that I have no idea what they're saying. I I literally could not understand a single word, and we parted ways. <laughs> yeah. Good, good, good. Good morning. Very good morning. Hey. Get that yeah, yeah, I'm trying to hit it. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see if anybody arrived here. Wait. Am I the only one? Let's see. I don't see anybody else here. 
As my uncle would say. I feel. You gonna get up? What was he? Huh. What? Most educated man in his county. But a slave. Oh, Miller no. writes about yes, men no like him. Ah, Miller's a slave to a uh, slave to pretty Pardon words that. and empty phrases, Morning. but he don't understand. You are too harsh a critic. <sighs> Look. You're a great man, Mr. Dutch. But you ain't great because of Evelyn Miller. <laughs> Keep quiet, Morgan. He'll eat you alive. It ain't difficult. <laughs> hmm. Are they discussing about literature? Maybe he's actually pretty smart because he can read. All right there, boss. Ah, Hello. you're back. Good. Um. And John went all the way to Valentine. Can't see him there. All right. I'm thinking what we should do next because I had such a good time with that train robbery quest. I really like that. I like you know spending quality time like that with the boys. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing, you know, spending quality time with friends. I like that. I like that really much. Very, very much. But, um, I also need to decide what to do next. Because my plan was to take a look at the northern areas of the map. And I can tell that I need to ditch that plan. <laughs> That's not happening today. We did some exploring. And we basically found nothing. And, um... I feel like I want to do something, but I don't feel like hunting really, so... Hmm. So I'm just thinking, like, should I do Abigail's quest? Because it looks like we could maybe... Um, maybe learn how to fish. And I would like that very much. It's a sign. It's a goddamn rainbow. Actually, double. A rainbow without any rain? It's a double Our rainbow. Look has changed. We're blessed. We are. Okay. There should actually be like a treasure at the on the other side of the rainbow, I think. Those knives are ready for you. I left them at your tent. Oh, nice! Oh, thanks, yeah. Bobby. Thank you. We should. Oh, we should go. Hi, Jack. We should go and take a look at the knives first. That's such a good idea. Let's do that first and then we're going to do the Abigail's um, quest. I think that's a good idea. Because I would like to learn how to fish. I'm happy about those. Okay, I feel like I've seen that before. So, uh, the throwing knives. I do want to read more about those because... Avir said that you could use those for... Um, does that count as a weapon? Maybe. You could use that for... Uh, hunting, I think. Throwing knife. Poison throwing knife. Here. By coating the blade of a knife with extract of poisonous herb, you can make this silent killer even more lethal. The poison effect will cause additional damage to target over time. Perfect for taking down guards or large animals. This upgraded weapon can be crafted by combining a regular throwing knife with oleander sage. That's good. So even big animals. So I guess the poison is potent enough to kill a bear. Morning, Arthur. Ah, uh, morning, Hosea. Hosea. You okay, Lenny? Hey. Folks seem really happy morning, now. Arthur. Sure. This. This is everything. The whole world is in a smile, Arthur. <laughs> remember that. I'm trying to remember that. Dutch. 
Mm. All right, so Abigail. Actually, this is good because we haven't really spent any time with her and we don't know much about her. Other than she has a child with John. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. Yeah. What is it? <sighs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. Well, he wasn't okay. that useless Thank a while you. ago, but I mean, I guess John isn't much of a father figure to Jack. Uh, where is Jack, by the way? On the other side of the camp? Maybe we will teach him how to fish. I don't know how we're going to do that, because I don't know how to fish either. <laughs> Hi, Jack. What you up to? Playing. I can Anything see that. Fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're. <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cape. Mm hmm. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Good. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's excited. Good. He has a fishing pole. I don't. I, I'm I think. Lift you on when oh, you're there's bleh, something in my eye. Time to go, boy. Waiting for a check. Oh, that's a good-looking pole. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's go then. Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Really? Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Ah. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Okay, really? so I need to find when? him a storybook. <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. Look, rabbits are out. Where? Well, somewhere. <laughs> I can't see them, but I'm glad that Arthur can. So a storybook. Right fast, Uncle Arthur. Well, okay, sorry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm just trying to enjoy the scenery, but I guess you, you can like. Go faster than this? Yeah, I can. Yeah. You see that there? I guess this is the place. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Yeah, let's go. I can't wait to get started. You show me where, Uncle Arthur. Mm, here, I think. Just by the water there? You mean? <laughs> A thousand questions. Alright, so I guess we should have here using rod 
Well, first, we need some bait. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, let's use like uh, let's use bread. Or should I use cheese? Maybe. Why aren't you fishing? I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Okay. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Nice. Like that? That's it. Yeah, good. You press All R2 to now, hook the fish Jack when you feel a bite. Wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait. So yank hard to hook it. All right. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Got one, Jack. Is it a big one? Oh, maybe. Uh, quickly rotate the reel to fish. Ah, oh no, right. Sorry. You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, okay, seems it's like coming, he's taking coming a rest me. now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Wow. <laughs> I got my first fish. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Well, let's throw it back then. All right. Uh, another Can I one? take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Like what? Okay. I guess we're still doing this. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Sounds good. I like the look of that spot. Just don't disappear, please. Oh. Go. Come on. Come here. Oh, that's even smaller. What is this? This one's a chain picker. Not bad. Hmm. A member of the Pike family. They favor cornmeal bait. Uh, can I use this as a bait? I'm gonna keep it. Oh, Jack is right there. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. Yeah, I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait. And try not to worry. It's good for you. Yeah. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. I think you've got a bite. Look. Yeah, I can see that. Fish on the line. Pull him in. Come on. Come on. You gotta stick at things, Jack. I know. Come on, come on. Oh, it's just, it's it's not a big one. I don't think. What are you think. making there? You'll see. It's a surprise. Uh, Redfin pickerel. Meat is flaky. Um, I'm gonna keep it. I was just thinking whether I can use this. Hey, look at this! Uh, the what? This necklace I made. Well, it's necklace. pretty. For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. Who are you? In such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Depends. Who are you? Who is yes. asking? Arthur Morgan. 
Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. Uh. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphaned street kids seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton. Agent Ross. Pinkerton Detective Agency. Of seconded course. to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted uh, man, Mr. Morgan. It's five thousand dollars for your head alone. Five thousand dollars for me? Can I turn myself in? <laughs> we want Van Der. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. Yeah, no idea where he is. Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent. Uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it. From Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. Right. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, do you? Know I enjoy to society, that. flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die savagely. All of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Well, good Goodbye. Good day to you. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? Assholes. No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. Agent it's Milton. getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Oh, here Can you are. Can we go now, please? Yeah, let's go. Come on, pal. I guess you got a little scared, which... I don't blame you. They were really scary. Alright, let's go. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because... Well... Because those are disagreeable men. And I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Max? Is he in jail? Uh, mm. No, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. Yeah, I get it. It is. <laughs> it's too slow for me, too. I'm not that patient. Yeah. When it comes to fishing. Alright, so we're definitely not oh what happened? We're definitely not turning Dutch in because why would we? But I guess we're turning ourselves in because five grand? That sounds good. <laughs> that sounds really good. Hi Abigail. Boys get known. Great! We caught a fish and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Not the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. 
A fella named uh, um, Milton and uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> well... Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing. Just yet. It's just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. Yeah, I think so too. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. I feel like that's a good plan. There's no need to panic. Oh, that was it. Nice. So we now know how to fish. Which is great, because I've been waiting for this. Ever since we found out that there is a legendary fishing spot near our camp. Nice. So you, you saw Pinkerton's, did you? Oh, I did. Saw, met, and got the full message. What did you think? I think we're in real trouble, but the only way out is forward. True. I know. That Blackwater business seems to have finished us. Well, we're you not finished yet, Hosea. We're not finished yet. I think I need some coffee after that. <laughs> they were really th threatening you miss me, big the man? agents. <laughs> Mr. Morgan. Uh, like the what? crops miss the sun when it's stuck behind a cloud, my boy. I thought I was a gunner. I am sure. Oh, no stinky feet, Morgan. <laughs> stinky <me>. feet, Morgan. <laughs> I mean, I might have smelled a little bad because I don't bathe that often. I should actually bathe a lot more. Let's have a little coffee. Sit here with, with the boys. Well, can you like sit down here maybe? So Charles. What are you up good, to? Charles? Yeah. Already wishing we left Sean hanging okay, from the tree. Oh, I know what you mean. <gasps> yeah. But I mean I kind of like him. He's a talkative guy. And he seems harmless. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sounds good. Hi, uncle. How is it hanging? There he is. Arthur Morgan. As well, active as always. Happiness is important, Arthur. It is. That's true. That is true. I have a little time left, so I'm thinking that I should probably spend this time hunting. I would really like to do that. And uh, what we need is... I'm just gonna see, because Pearson has a list of what we need. Huh? Don't forget to go hunting, <gasps> Mr. Morgan. I'm sorry. Yeah, I hear you. I'm very into my crafting now? at the moment, Mr. Yeah, Morgan. Yeah, let's see. I'm very Satchel. Something if you bring me the right materials. <laughs> All right. Oh. This is something that I would like to get. Provision satchel. Or or actually any satchel, basically. But I need remember, a bison pelt and raccoon pelt, elk and Mr. panther, Morgan. badger and squirrel. Also, I need the buck antlers for the one Thanks, Mr. amulet. And I need to bring the carcasses to the camp because we need some more food. So I think that first we are going to 
Maybe donate something to the camp, or actually I have a better idea. Guess we should upgrade this. Good. Oh, hello, Arthur. This person really likes my... He seems to really like my presence. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, ammo. I don't... No, I don't think we're going to upgrade that. I'm kind of curious to see what happens if we upgrade Dutch's lodging. He wants something comfier. That's really expensive. No, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna do that. I don't think that's a good idea. But... I feel like I should maybe donate something to the camp before we go. 55. Or maybe some more. Good. All right, that's that. So I feel like next we're doing some hunting. Let's see what we are going to hunt. Okay, fella. I need to make some. I I need a plan. Actually, I feel like it's maybe a better idea to just stay near yeah. the camp. I'm gonna maybe hunt a couple of deer. And then we're wrapping this episode up. I was kind of thinking about maybe fishing, but I feel like I need to read more about that before doing that. Because I guess I need certain types of baits to get better fish, I think. At least that, you know, sounds kind of logical. <laughs> So yeah, I wanna read more information about that before I invest any time into fishing. Whoa, hmm. Okay, let's take a look at the other side of the river. I do need some weapons with me. I think I should take like a Springfield rifle and then a a bow. I'm taking these with me. I don't know what these are. Okay, that's a buck. That's another buck. That's a two, two star one and this one is also two stars. Well, let's see. No. Hmm. Okay, let's go to the other side. I don't think I've hunted any does before. But I feel like this is a good place to start from, because there are a lot of animals near this river. At least, you know, deer. And other animals similar to that. Use a rifle for a clean kill. Maybe I actually should. Okay, don't get scared. Oh, you can now manually target attack targets 
in dead eye with R1. Okay, that's a good good thing. Yes. I feel like I'm going to need you or your pelt for something. On here buddy i do do need the second horse i've been told a couple of times that i should get another horse uh bring it to me or actually bring it with me when i'm hunting so that i can take multiple carcasses with me and that's a really good idea i should really get the horse like really soon <laughs> because i've been putting it off but, um, but yeah, now I just, you know, I'm starting to feel very sad <laughs> when I have to leave carcasses just lying around like this, so. I feel like I should really get another horse. All right. Another one. Okay, what are you? Okay, you are a buck, but I need a three-star one. Maybe I'm just killing you for the meat. Okay, go. Go behind it. Follow it. I'm sorry. I'm just using you for the meat. That's all. Should. I should do that. Now that I finally remember. Plain venison. Sounds really good. Let's stow these. Let's cook another. I feel like we're gonna eat this. Yeah, I think that's a good idea because need to fill our health core. Good. Alright, so I'm glad to know that the box are actually... ...hanging. Near the river, but I just need this three-star one. I guess we need two sets of antlers, or just one set. I actually don't remember. If it was two sets of antlers or just two antlers. I'm thinking about the trinket, I mean, or the amulet that we can get that helps us with hunting. I love that Arthur is singing while riding. I like that. It makes me think that he's having a good time. Hmm. What are those? Okay, that's a white tail deer. Okay, that's another one. Not what I'm looking for. Oh, are those 
Those must be the box on the other side of the river. Look. Another set dough. Another dough. I need a buck. A white tail buck. Here. Okay, but I need a three star one. Okay, so they are hanging around here. You are blind, sir. It's me. It's always me. Hmm. Okay, I, I have a feeling that I should be able to. F right there. Find the box near the camp. Alright, let's. Take all of these to Pearson before the meat goes bad. Oh, hello! There he is, the proud Englishman. Don't fight other man's battles, boy. And anyway, my family weren't even English. Bring me something soon if you can, Arthur. Yeah. Carcass. Very good. We were getting low. Good. Many thanks, Morgan. I know the feeling. No problem. Hi, ladies. So let's go back. We need to find the back. I feel like the game always knows what you're hunting. Or at least it feels like that, because when I'm trying to when I try to find the white tailed deer, I felt like there were no deer to be found. Like they just disappeared somewhere. And now when I'm not looking for them. They're basically everywhere. Okay, that's a bug. But I need a three star one. I think. Or do I? I actually probably don't even need a three star one. I just need the antlers. Right? I feel like. Uh, where's the map that Hosea gave me? Legendary animal map. Hmm. Read. Okay, four is buck. Is that number four? I can hardly see. I guess that's that. Yeah, legendary buck. So it looks like it must be. Okay, let's take a look at the actual map. Yeah, I think that's it. I guess it must be somewhere here, or maybe somewhere here. Which makes me think that I'm going to leave that the next time. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Because I feel like we should probably pay a visit to Strawberry anyway. And we also need to take another look at Watson's cabin, because there's definitely stuff that I missed there. So I guess we should go and hunt the legendary buck when we're actually near this area i guess we're going back to the camp and we are wrapping this episode up there bummer i was so sure that i needed just regular buck antlers but i guess that wasn't the case and um i would like to keep hunting just to you know just defeat the camp but unfortunately, I'm running out of time because I got school tomorrow, so... 
I need to get some good night's sleep. Unfortunate, but that's the reality of things, so... Let's hit our horse here. And I guess Arthur needs some sleep too. He's been up for a couple of days now, so... He also needs some sleep. Um, not now. <laughs> I'm not ready to lose my fingers. It's too late Hello. for that. I meant to tell you. Pinkerton's also said they caught up with Mag. Bastards finished yeah. him off. Oh, damn it. I assumed as much, but that is a real shame. That is. Let's join our friends. I know. I know as sure as the sun rises in in the one place and then goes and sets in the other, that Dutch will get us out of this mess. Now sure, we might we might run into another five messes down the road. Shit, we might run into a whole series of messes, but and most likely yes. But we will get to the promised land, and we will be free! And for those of you who doubt it, you'll be the ones who won't make it. You can trust me on that. It's trust. Well. North to South, trust. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. He's got a point, because if you give up, you will never make it. You need to trust yourself. You need hope. Hope is very important. But, uh, as I told you, we're leaving this episode here. Um, I hate to do this because I'm so ready to go hunting and I got excited about the legendary bug, but I feel like it's probably way too... it's just too far away from us right now. So I don't think I have enough time to even find it today, unfortunately. But yeah, but I'm happy that we're here with our friends, with the gang and not alone in the woods somewhere. I like it. I like listening to these conversations. Uh, because then we get to know these characters a little bit better and also they are they are actually very interesting to me. I know that everybody is leaving right now because it's probably too late but uh, I want to hear more of these stories and that's why I like to sometimes sit here and just listen to them talk and I feel like I should do that more often actually. But yeah, I like the train mission. I wish that it was longer maybe. I was kind of hoping that it would would have been longer but i guess this is fine because the mission is basically still incompleted i feel like so the next robbery is going to be a bigger one and i'm glad that we know how to fish now but i do need to read more about that because i because i feel like i'm not gonna get too far with just a piece of cheese and a fishing rod uh, it's probably more nuanced than that, so I do want to read more information about that. But I'm going to wrap this episode up because it's getting really late. I hope that you enjoyed today's episode, and I will see you next time when we play more Red Dead Redemption 2. Bye guys.